Today, our adventure is to travel from Perth to Kalgoorlie by train, a 653km journey taking 8 hours. We'll overnight in the Palace Hotel before driving the next day out to the Super Pit Gold Mine, viewing it from a public viewing point on the southeastern side of the pit, before returning to the Kalgoorlie Township to board a tourist coach for an inspection tour of the pit and its facilities. Here at Meriden, about halfway into our journey, the Perth bound prospector crosses over our Kalgoorlie bound train. Here is something unusual, salt trucks are unloading next to our train. Kalgoorlie is on the main east to west travel line. Witness this lorry is on freight, rolling in fresh from its Nullarbor crossing.
Paddy Hannon, who first discovered gold here in 1893, would have no idea what he started. The Firmiston Open Pit, colloquially known as the Super Pit, is one of Australia's largest open-cut gold mines. It is located on the southeastern edge of Kalgoorlie. It is 3.5 kilometres long, 1.5 kilometres wide and over 600 metres deep. Mining is via the conventional drill and blast method. Using face shovels and dump trucks to collect the, the gold-bearing ore, as well as waste rock, which makes up the majority of the material blasted out. The gold-bearing ore is crushed, passed through various stages to refine it, before it is transported to the Gigi Ultrafine Grinding Mill, 20 kilometres north of Kogurli, where the gold is extracted. Holes are being drilled in the rock plateau to get ready for explosives. One of the hazards facing today's open pit miners is opening up the tunnels and shafts of the underground miners who worked here dating back to over a hundred years ago. These old shafts and tunnels often have abandoned mining equipment like railway lines, trucks, shovels and other steel tools which must be removed to prevent injury to today's miners and damage to the equipment. Now, as promised, we returned to Kalgoorlie and bought a tourist coach for a tour of the mine and its workings. And a range for a big truck to run over it, gone about 35 k's an hour. The truck he got out and said he didn't even feel a thing. <laughs> Basically, to put it here, just to remind everyone each day the importance of communicating with these big machines here on site. They're more likely to be spending money locally here at privately owned businesses. And of course, they're home every night with their family. We accept through the crusher. Like I said, waste travels behind us through to that Mount Charlotte Quarry Hole. The ore, the rocks of gold, it travels on the conveyor in front of us here through to a stockpile, then through the mill. Thank you. 
track. Yes. So these here, KCGM have got 40 of these tracks here on site. Each track, if you like this one, each track here on site is carrying up to 250 tons on the back of each of them. The super pit is so large it generates its own climate. In the surrounding countryside the weather is warm with calm winds but not so over around the pit. The sun has generated howling winds flowing into the pit from the west side and out of the east side are near hurricane strength. My camera work is a bit shaky at high zoom levels. My old Sony Handycam Bought in 2010, struggles a bit with stabilisation at full zoom. My later camera, bought in 2017, largely corrects this that you're seeing today.
zero on a black screen. So that red number there obviously his scales aren't working at the moment but if we have a look at all the other Each of the shovels collects 80 tonnes per bite. It only takes three scoops to fill a truck which has a capacity of 230 tonnes. The scale of these vehicles is deceptive. Watch the rear of the pink dump truck as it pulls away. A large rock about the size of a family car falls off the back. A giant front end loader is called up to clear it out of the way so the next truck can load. We are now at the west side. Those howling winds we saw blowing out of the pit on the east side are now blowing in so strongly that it's blowing our hard hats off our heads into the depths of the pit. I am in awe of how tough these miners of old were, digging these tunnels and shafts which festoon these rock faces out by hand.
The final part of our tour is an inspection of the works where the ore receives its first stage of processing.
at the moment is too big to be fed into the crusher. So they drop it off there. From Mount Charlotte, we get a look over the Kalgoorlie Township as well as the gold working operations. Waste rock has been carried here as a part of the redevelopment plan. This conveyor, which is four kilometres long, carries ore from the super pit to other mining areas near Mount Charlotte for processing. Up
Old mining shafts are everywhere, posing a major risk if one is incautious of falling in. Now it is time to return to the train for the return journey to Perth.